Papa Sipovich's parents were great travelers. They visited Kazakhstan, Mongolia, China, Tuva, and they came to Abakan from the Altai territory. Further, the Lykovs path was as follows, Lykovskaya Zemka, 150 came downstream of Abakan on the Kani River, opposite the Hotki, the Swan, Mine, on the border with the Altai territory, then Cairo, the Yeranat, Fork and the present place, Lykotka, as we jokingly called it. The Lykovs used to catch fish with dams and snouts, but now the two of them cannot do it, they catch a worm with a fishing rod. Cedar cones are cleaned by hand and then rolled in a tray. I ask Agasha, what does it mean to take communion? Answers, it is necessary to take three tablespoons of the divine water in your mouth. Water is taken from the spring after the evening service and left in a birch bark to Eska on the goddess or on the way, you can pray to the east, where Christ came from. According to Agathia, there is a rumor for preservation, for example, from a bear. God will turn away with his power. In one of Agathia's prayers I catch the words, help me live as a girl, I don't want to get married. Agathia says, every person has a soul, animals do not. Who mixed with such and such people, understand, with the, worldly, for example, a condensed milk, you need to atone for sin for six weeks. The biggest sin is murder, fornication, adultery. For the murder of a person there is a repentance for 20 years. Ask, Agasha, why is the forest green, white birch? Answers, God created for need. Explaining his positions, Karpasipovich says, you have to keep your soul firmly in the midst of temptations, so you can't go out into the world. These positions are probably not so strong if he is afraid of contact with the world. Agafya says that Tiyahya taught her how to make birch bark shoes, shoes, but it is very difficult to sew them, she harassed her hands. Now they are no longer made, it's very hard to walk, you can't go skiing. Now they wear pimas, felt boots, on the hands of rolled people. The structure, with the help of which dry potatoes are hammered for bread, is called a pestle on a chip. Once we were allowed to work on it, but only after we washed our hands in the stream. It's not an easy job. In the second hour of the day we went fishing to a bakken along a new path. Three years ago she was gone. The descent is very steep, especially at the beginning. In 25 minutes we are at a bakken, where the stream flows below the cheek. Elvira Viktorovna began to paint cheeks, and Nikolai Mikhailovich and I tried to fish in different places. They didn't catch anything at all, the river was like that. We just wandered in cold water, I even scooped it into my boots, and drowned a large new spinning reel. At about 9 o'clock in the evening, we returned empty-handed to the lower hut. The ascent to it took 27 minutes, almost the same as the descent. The path is already much easier, training effects around the majestic pristine beauty. The day was sunny and even hot. In the evening, Agafya overheard our conversation that we had little bread and immediately brought several slices of her own. Yesterday she also treated us to bread. I ate one and a half pieces of sour bread with potatoes and bread. Not very tasty, but you can eat. The taste is somewhat reminiscent of our ra. Agafya is rewriting the canon with a blue felt tip pen. He draws letters beautifully, reads and shows us with pleasure. With us, Canon writes from memory. Of the six felt tip pens, writing sticks, donated, Agafi chose two, blue and red. Writes capital letters in red, the rest in blue. Karpasipovich laughs at the fact that people have invented that Agafi and Detry are not his own children, but his brother Evdekim. But Evdekim was killed before Agafi and Detry were born, he says. According to Agafya, Natalia was eight and a half years older than her, the tri was two and a half years older, and Savin was more than ten years older. It turns out that three years ago, when we asked the Lykovs about the age, it was overestimated for everyone by three, five years. Why? According to the Lykovs story, Kenia, Evdekim's wife, died in Cairo. She was going to visit the Lykovs, went out onto the porch, sat down on the heap and died immediately. When the Lykovs came to check on them, they found Xenia on the rubble, already all decomposed. They found their daughter Martha in a buried tree half dead from hunger. Martha died a few days later. In the village of Verktashtai, the Lykovs have a distant relative who lived with them on the Lykovskaya Zemka, 150 kilometers down the Abakan, from where they were forcibly evicted. 
Fyodor Ivanovich. He is two years younger than Karpasipovich and knows everything about the life of the Lykovs. Natalia was born on the Swan, a mine in the Altai territory. But the Lykovs themselves say that they did not wash gold, but were engaged in agriculture. According to the Lykovs, a lynx lives in the taiga, but recently it has become scarce. At one time there lived four wolves, one to try caught a trap at a trot, and all the Lykovs wondered for a long time what kind of outlandish animal it was. Then Karpasipovich remembered that this beast looked like a wolf, about which someone once told him. The Lykovs say that in winter they had a man, Anatoly Pavlovich Romashov, who pretended to be a believer. And most likely he was a real schizophrenic, at least this is clear from the story of Agafyan Karpasipovich. About this person Karpasipovich said, however, not of our faith. And did not allow him to read prayers together. I watch Agasha's chores around the house, how she does everything quickly and deftly. I'm trying to figure out who she reminds me of all the time. Here she is in her rags and moccasins by the fire, stirring something in a pot with a homemade wooden spoon with a long handle. The face is calm, detached hands, stained with soot, quickly and deftly do their job. And a picture from Charles Pierrette's fairy tale suddenly pops up in my memory. But Agasha is Cinderella, both in dress, in appearance, and in the endless work that she so skillfully and meekly performs and, of course, for her inner kindness. Agafya, talking about a visit to the village of geologists, says, in Cairo, the spirit from the tractor is very bad. I am talking with Agafya about what they are treating with. I find out that she knows more than three dozen medicinal plants, methods of their preparation and use for certain conditions and diseases. But best of all, according to Agafya, Natalia knew medicinal herbs. Here are some herbs that Lykovs use. When vomiting, you can drink blood, salandine. For a constipation, rhubarb is used, it carries a lot, says Agafya, and boiled nut juice, cooking method, cedar nuts are pounded in a mortar, poured with water from a stream and boiled. After taking jealousy, you need to take care, do nothing for a week, loosens up strongly, says Agafya. It is also useful to drink the Pushnik, probably, burdock, blue and white, better blue, it grows only on high mountains. They drink nettles from a blow, injury, injury, fright and much more. The Lykovs recognize nettle as one of the best remedies for various diseases, but they believe that after taking it, you also need to take care for three days. Fern, a decoction to drink from fear, you can put a cloth moistened with it on your head. After that, you need to sleep and so that no one interferes. Bodum, they drink a decoction of a root or dry leaf from an intestinal disorder. It can also be eaten, boiled in seven waters or soaked in a stream for about a month. Agasha said that in the years of famine they ate almost the entire plantation, located not far from their hut. When there is nothing to eat, then you can marry in root, having previously boiled it four times. On the islands of Abakan, there is a lot of bone grower, they drink a decoction of it during oversight, according to Agafia, oversight is when you do it through force. On the river there is a hernia hernia, a round leaf yellow. From a hernia, you can also use horfovki, mushrooms, raincoats, moisten the pollen and drink. Little Detry was treated with horfovka for hernia. According to Agafia, it helped him. But you need to beware. If dust gets into your eyes, it will be bad for your eyesight. Umbilical cord is a medicinal herb, it is used if the navel leaves its place, the veins are not in place, or are comediated if it is difficult to lift. Grows on the mountains. This herb can be eaten raw or thrown into boiling water and drunk. If there is a lot, then there may be stitches in the veins. After taking the umbilical cord, you need to take care for a month. Wounds or cuts are well lubricated or filled with spruce resin, for sulfur. Agafia, alder cones, for colds, street. John's wood, useful for many diseases, honeysuckle, we use for stomach ailments. Lycovs do not use tea. As Agafia says, rain drank cold spring water, now with herbs, currant, lingonberry, fur. Fur is drunk with hard work, back pain and lower back pain. In winter, water from the upper hut is taken from the river, it does not freeze everywhere, it rushes among the stones from a steep mountain, in the lower hut, they cut an ice hole in a key. 
The Lykovs do not have a bath, but they recognize its expediency. They ask Agasha if she has ever played with dolls. He looks with an embarrassed smile, does not understand what it is about. Let's explain. Shakes his head negatively. Then, remembering, she smiles happily, a ball. It must be understood that she was playing with a ball of hemp frets. A lump of pity rolls up to my throat. After all, it is only necessary to imagine that the child has never played children's games and did not have his own dolls and toys. It's terrible to think, there was no childhood. Please share this video on your social networks, using the buttons under the video and subscribe to the channel. I ask you to go and watch other videos about Agafya Lykova, which you can see now on the screen in the end screensavers. There are a lot of rare and interesting facts about the hermit. Thank you all for watching.